you know, yeah. if you really look at uh, the trade war, he's he's probably you know on the verge of causing a recession. Uh, the the stock market on Thursday and Friday went down like 800 points. I can't pinpoint which day it was, but I can tell you that. Uh, and you know, while unemployment it is at a 50-year low, it is the calm before the storm. Um, so. Mm -hmm. You know, this is going to cost us for, for generations. This, this president is doing so much damage to our country. So uh, regardless of what you think, you know, we, we do all, you know, live in the same exact country. And uh, I certainly do care about the future. So uh, it's not something I, I take as a joke, to be honest with you. I, I, I really do think that uh, he, he, is, he is a terrible president. Yeah, so you're, you're young. How, how old are you, sir? You sound young. Do you, do you not know your age? Let's go and die here. Hello, you still there? <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, well, see, I would imagine that you don't want to say your age because you, we don't, you don't want me to know how young and uninformed, okay, along with being unemployed, okay, so what, what is it exactly that you plan on giving to this conversation, okay? Why should I take your word for it, okay? That's what I'm saying. Is, is why, why would I not hold your, what you have to say with a grain of salt? Hey, well, the guy's nice enough to call in and give you his two cents. Well, that's not good enough, okay? Now, I know he has this uh, uh, podcast, uh, Speaking with Artists, and uh, now, I don't think that, I just, I'm curious why it is that you, you're, you're, you're riding the, 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 the left wing's nuts, okay? I don't understand why you're doing this. That's not, that's not at all what he was saying. That's not what you were saying, right? You're not condoning either side. No, not at all. Okay, well, that's what I heard. I'm a scientist, okay? I, I, I see these things, and I hear them. Now, um, now, as far as the Russia thing, uh, Obama was talking with, with Russia. We know that. Okay, we also know that the, the economy was at an all-time low because of Obama. Okay? Now, I, I don't know why you would uh, say anything different. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. So, if you, if, you look at, if you look at the timeline, um, while, while Bush was still in office, the uh, Lehman Brothers went under, and this was 2007 and 2008. Obama didn't take office till 2009, so um, what was going on is we basically gave a bunch of people uh, home loans that they couldn't afford through a 10-year period, and it basically ended up causing the Great Recession yeah. uh, because at the end of the day, they couldn't afford these mortgages. So. These were predatory mortgages that, uh, you know, someone making $12 an hour probably couldn't afford a uh, 150K house or you name it. Uh, because at the end of the day, the interest rate uh, would skyrocket uh, midway through their or mortgage. So uh, on top of that, George W. Bush was in office when the, uh, the crisis was uh, – was starting, uh, and it was something that kind of Obama inherited. So, yeah. you know, when he did take office, there was a lot of jobs lost. But um, usually, a, a president's economy doesn't start showing until one or two years into their presidency because they're not enacting policies on day one. This takes time. So, you know, there was a very slow, slow but steady recovery. And we haven't recovered from the Great Recession. It's pretty obvious. So yeah. um, while, while Obama certainly was not perfect, did make mistakes, uh, that uh, it shot, was no. not his fault. Oh, okay. Uh, so, okay, well, first of all, let me say this. I got a house during the, uh, shortly before the, uh, the housing market crashed. I got a great interest rate. And now what I got to say, and I, which I've, the house has since been paid off. You're welcome. Uh, now... With these people, if you can't afford a house, okay, that's on you, okay. And these people losing their jobs, okay. If if you if you're un, if you if you can't find a job, there's probably a reason for it, okay. This is why I will always be employed, okay. This is why I will always have a job because I have skills and and, and uh, uh, you know, viable uh, uh, reasons for why I should be employed. That's not a very nice thing to say, Doctor. That's that's like saying. Okay, but you're, you're once again, it's 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 all subjective. Okay, now um, now I know that uh, this guy is uh, uh, what was Doctor, his? Doctor, what's your real name? My name is Doctor Cuts, sir. It's K U N T Z. 
Okay. Dean That's... and Doctor, say, say something at the same time, interrupt each other. I, I'm sorry, what are, you, what are you trying to say here? He's saying that what you think so. <laughs> I go, okay, but it's like, okay, yeah, you're laughing because you're a snowflake. Okay. <laughs> See, um, you can laugh from, your, from, the, from the, the confines and the comfort of your lazy boy. Well, I'm out here making discoveries, okay? I'm, I'm breaking new ground. Okay, um, you're you're over here, feel big. Okay, blah, blah, wringing blah, your blah, hands blah. about what the president's doing. You're probably on Twitter all day instead blah, of blah, being blah. A, being employed, like like every blah, other hardworking blah, blah. citizen. Okay, and then you call in uh, with basically no information. Okay, you're you're a Trump hater. Okay, you're driven, drinking the haterade. Okay, because you're part of this. Uh, let me guess, you're a liberal. Is this what you are? Is that? Labels don't make friends. Okay, that's exactly what I would say if I was if I was a liberal stuff like now. Um, now, when you are uh, big, okay. So, and by the way, I would love to call into your podcast. Okay, I once created a popsicle stick castle. Okay, it was it was monumental. Okay, it was epic. Okay, now technically that would make me a creator. Is this correct? I don't, I don't think he would want you on his show. I don't know. Right? Would that would that be fair to say? Liam, you, you still there? Of course he's not. He's a fucking snowflake, okay? Now, back to what I was saying about the...